All right, let's do some dulcimer playing. So your dulcimer in open uh, D is tuned with two Ds, the middle one's A, and your first string is D. So you have a low D. You always tune them up here. And what I do on dulcimer is I just tune, turn it on, and just lay it there and see if it'll ring a D. When it gets in the middle and it's a green light, you know it's D. Same thing with the other notes. So we've got it tuned D, A, D. Dear old dad, that's how you tune it for D tuning. Uh, if you look at the rhythm on the top of the page, shortening bread, I gotta show you where to strum is down at the bottom of the dulcimer. You'll see a little piece from the tail piece between the neck, and that's the curved place. That's called your bridge. And that's where you strum. Most of the time starting out, we're gonna strum away from us. And most of the time you hit them all. So it says a D chord six times. Uh-oh, I had an A chord. So how do I do an A chord? Well, you can do it different ways. Um, I'm showing you this on a table today because it's easier for recording, but most of the time you would be holding this in your lap. You could use your thumb on the uh, D strings closest to you, the first fret. Let me show you where the frets are. This is not, this is a nut. So down here, this first little metal piece, that's a fret. So for an A chord, you have to push down the two little strings closest to you and the one farthest away. But you cannot push the one in the middle. It's got to stay open. There's your A chord. So here's short and bread. The fiddle start one, Two, the fiddles will play. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, ta. over where they go. I've actually got my thumb kind of laying down, lazy like to kind of hold me in place so I don't have to look. And my right hand was simply strumming across away from me. Let's look at the lead part because someday you're going to say, hey, I'm ready to play some lead. So all songs uh, have a verse and a chorus. Sometimes we call them part one and part two. Um, if you look at uh, part A verse, it says, open five, four, five, open five, four, rest. And you're thinking, what in the world are those? It's a circle that means you hit the strings open. That zero stands for nothing. You don't hit anything except the strings closest to you open. And then it says five. could just play the strings. That's fine. But if you want to add some drone to it, that's the beauty of a dulcimer. It's like a bagpipe. It's got those strings that never change. Part two. Oh, we see seven, five, four, five. This dulcimer unfortunately does not have any little dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But you could sure put some little markers on the side. But what if you're playing with a dulcimer group? Some of you are going to be doing the strumming, the rhythm, and some of you are going to do that. So yeah, and you, there's no right or wrong way. You can use any fingers. I would not suggest using your thumb for lead. I will do thumb once in a while for chords for rhythm, but not for lead. So they're short and bred. Enjoy.